Hello and welcome to Pure Word Creations. My name is Tahira. Today I have a gift journal that I made for fellow journal maker Teresa Aseret of Aseret Studio. Um, I will leave her information uh, in the description box, her YouTube channel, and her Instagram page. And um, Teresa reached out to me after seeing either my Instagram account or uh, my YouTube videos and she sent me just out of the blue materials um, that she had been collecting in her stash that she thought um, I could use in my projects and it was so generous and so sweet um, I did not know her beforehand um, and we've never met in person um, but I just really felt like um, I should even though the materials, um, you know, it wasn't a lot, um, but it was so sweet. Um, and I utilized them in my, um, if you look in my videos, you'll see some black heritage stamps on top of a cover of, um, of a journal. And I'll try to link that video in the description box. But um, it was Teresa who gifted me those Black Heritage stamps that she had been collecting. Um, and she was so sweet to share them with me. So I wanted to make her a journal. I made this while on the road. This was actually one of the first journals that I started making on the road. Um, I originally had a, a hard spine. Um, but it just didn't feel right, so I took that off <laughs> and made um, a soft spine for this journal, and this feels right. So uh, let's dive right in. So uh, the closure is just um, this thrifted trim um, that I got from a Creative Review shop in Denver. It's really pretty gold and white. Um, this ledger paper I got from Renee at Renee's At It Again. Just cut it down to size. It's blank on the back. And I don't even remember what I use as the base for the covers, um, but on top of the covers, um, is wallpaper that I got from a creative reuse shop in Greensboro, North Carolina, along with these rub-ons that I use as little corners. And uh, in the back here, you'll see this. These are this paper doily that I put on top of a different kind of wallpaper that's gold and kind of a taupe color and made this pocket, um, there's some black trim. Um, I recently got this particular fabric from Dollar Tree. It was one of their pillowcases that I cut. And this brown lace is also from that Creative Reuse shop in Denver. And here's the back. So it's pretty full. <laughs> um, and of course, Teresa can take things out as she uses the, uses the journal. All right, let's go inside. So this is just kind of bunched up from the front. I put a button in the center. Uh, this is from a children's like uh, dictionary, and um, I used T, and in the back is E, which is her initials. The uh, three of the signatures out of the four um, start with papers that I got a, at a creative reuse shop. I don't even know where, but it was part of a, a pad, a scrap of paper pad. Here's some wallpaper from Renee that I made into um, a pocket. 
and just put a piece of scrapbook paper that I got at a creative reuse shop in Baltimore. <laughs> Here is a yearbook page that I got from Renee and um, it was part of her uh, one of her paper packs that I won in her giveaway. And this is some uh, lace trim that I got at Daiso in San Jose, California, along with this kind of a manuscript, children's manuscript paper, school paper. This paper is from Dollar Tree. It's like a seeded, handmade paper. It's really, really pretty. This also comes from Daiso. It's kind of just a little letter set. These papers come from Creative Reuse Shops. This is Midori graph paper that I brought with me on the road. More of that children's dictionary page. Um, sticker from Dollar Tree. Here's some handmade paper from Paper Garden LA. I'll put her information in the description box. Really pretty colored papers. That's a pinkish color. Graph paper from a composition book I got at uh, Goodwill. Here's a little mini collage of washi tape and music paper. Teresa also gifted me some music items, um, some car library card catalog items that were music related. So I wanted to kind of uh, put some, you know, music related items in her journal as well. Here's a We Are Memory Keepers journaling card. Here's a wellness tracker page that I got from Marshalls. Here is a coin envelope I got from Renee, and inside are papers from Lin Chia Ning. A Dollar Tree sticker and the rest of that music paper. Here's a little bit of that same wallpaper that I made into a pocket before, some trim or seam binding rather and some washi tape. Here's a card, playing card that I got from Renee. And just a piece of paper from um, Daiso. Here is some ledger paper that I um, got from a ledger that was like $4 at the Creative Review shop in um, Denver, and most of the pages were blank. It's just in beautiful condition. Page from a Sears Roebuck catalog that I got from Renee. Here's a map page, also from Renee's paper pack. Here's another one of her playing cards.
in it. I think this was like a piano teacher's status, student status report. It's also from Renee. Here is um, some paper with like gold flecks in it from Dollar Tree. Time card. Also from Renee's pack. Cabinet card. Also came in Renee's pack. Paper bag. Here's just some bits and pieces from, um, actually I think this paper is from a pack um, from Paper Connection in Rhode Island, Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, that's just a piece of that same handmade paper in, from Dollar Tree. Here is like a little travel postcard, sorry, <laughs> travel postcard piece from Renee. More handmade paper from Paper Garden LA. Cute page from that children's dictionary. Dollar Tree Journal page, and inside is just little bits. I think this is um, actually from uh, a, a, a book that I got at Goodwill, and this is some Dollar Tree paper pack paper, great texture. Here is a Sesame Street book uh, book page that I got from Doll um, Goodwill. I just added some Daiso paper clips there that you can use. I believe this is Tim Holtz. some stickers from Dollar Tree on the front and the back. Another playing card from Renee. Paper from Dollar Tree. Here are some stickers from Lin Xianing. Here is a English and Spanish flash card that I got from a used bookstore in Jacksonville, Florida. And here is the sun. Third signature. Here is a page from a 1984, I guess, schedule book. I got from Renee. Here's a planet sticker from Lin Chianing.
here is a little doggy bag. <laughs> I got an extra one from um, a delivery, I guess. <laughs> and here's some butterfly stickers from Lin Chianing. I asked for a clean one, I should say. Here's some stationary paper uh, that I got at a Creative Review shop in Greensboro, North Carolina. Here's some stationary from Daiso. More handmade paper from Paper Garden, LA. It's a yellow. That's not coming up on the uh, camera. Here was is a um, the center is a book page from a book on electricity. Children, children's book on electricity. Really, really pretty um, illustrations that I got from Goodwill. Here's some Lin Chianing color papers. inside here. Oh, we are Memory Keepers journaling card. Some of these papers actually have tears and um, some holes in them because they've been traveling with me for the past seven months <laughs> since uh, my tour relaunched. So there's a good mix of papers in here that I've been collecting along the way. Scrap of paper, Dollar Tree textured paper. Here's the fourth and last signature. This I got from a Where did I get this from? <laughs> Maybe a used book. Oh, it was a used bookstore. It was a used bookstore. Um, can't remember where, but it's really, really cool. It has all of these kind of uh, games, word games, some ledger paper. Dollar Tree rub on an envelope um, from a creative reuse shop. More handmade paper from Paper Garden LA. tree stickers, a doily from a creative reuse shop in Greensboro. It's the same doily that's on the front cover. side in the envelope. Here's a freestanding handmade paper from Paper Garden LA. It's a blue. Here's a playing card from my stash. made a journaling card out of a book page 
from a book I got at Goodwill. Just some papers from Paper Connection and Dollar Tree. Made a pocket out of that wallpaper, another pocket. Here's some pretty, pretty stationery, music related from Daiso. Gorgeous. the pack and that's a um, burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree thank you so much and thank you Teresa for being such a beautiful soul um, and so generous with uh, sending your you know part of your stash to me um, so sweet and I just wanted to say thank you so much bye bye